The Meat Eater by Banish is the next suppressor we're gonna talk about. This suppressor comes in at 10 ounces. It's a super light suppressor. The serviceability of it is really nice. You actually have the ability to get all the baffles out to clean it, even at this size. It utilizes a really unique anchor brake system that actually allows you to adjust between recoil reduction or suppression, depending on what your use case is. Um, if you turn it all the way to the right and close it, you're gonna get up to five decibels more of reduction. And as you open it, you're going to decrease that reduction, but increase your amount of recoil reduction and with it all the way open up to 30%, which is very, very big. The uh, meat eater suppressor itself utilizes what's called a hub mount system, which is a industry standard. So you can utilize QD or direct thread mounts, as well as a lot of other manufacturers mounts that you may already be using. And it comes in a really cool sniper gray colorway. I'm gonna take it apart real quick so you can check out the baffles and see the inside. The baffles themselves are titanium as well. You can clean those in either a ultrasonic cleaner or tumbler, or you can utilize whatever gun solvent or brush that you would like to use to make sure that those baffles are super, super clean. Continue to give you as much of suppression as you're looking for. When it comes to the reassembly, all these baffles lock and index into each other. They have a little indexing point and key on the side. One of these baffles is hold for being on your muzzle side or breech cap. You can see the difference there. That one has holes. This guy does not. So you want to make sure that one's at the top of your stack. And you also have an end cap baffle, which is a shorter, much flatter baffle than all your other baffles to make sure that is on your muzzle side. So if you make a stack like so with your end cap baffle at the top and the one for your breech at the very, very top. So drop your tube on. Reassembly is super easy with the meat eater. Make sure you check this suppressor out. We did a lot of R&D and time with our friends at Meat Eater to get you a really, really nice hunting suppressor. 308 or 300 and below.